In this video, we're going to be talking about how to assemble the Flying Pendulum Escapement. All the files can be downloaded from jbvcreative.com. If you haven't yet, get those files printed. You will need some additional parts for this escapement mechanism. The full parts list is included in the download package, and you will need a hammer and a screwdriver. Let's start by topping a bearing into this piece right here. Hammer it nice and light. It will go in because the plastic is soft. Another bearing goes into this piece. Place this piece on the corner or something, and then you can tap bearing into that hole as well. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw, slide it through the back of this bearing. Throw two washers on the end of that, and then grab your big gear, and that will screw into this hole. Just note that I've changed the design slightly from this model, so your gear will look a little bit different, but it will work better than this one. Make sure that the gear spins freely, then slide an M4 by 12 millimeter screw into this bearing in this direction. Throw two washers on the end of that. And then your swing arm will screw into that screw. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw, throw it into the bottom of the base and then screw that screw into one side of this mount. Before it's tight, line up the other hole, screw another screw into this side. And then you can tighten this all the way down, and then when that's tight, you can tighten the other one all the way down as well. So just to make sure that everything is aligned well. Give the gear a spin to make sure that everything is working. Using two M4 by 12 millimeter screws, they go in through the back of the base and they screw into the holes on the arm mounts. Same thing here, screw this one in, not fully. Then you can screw the other screw all the way in and you can come back and tighten the first screw. Using your M4 by 35 millimeter screw, that will screw into the top of the top arm mount it's a little bit of a wrist workout, but you gotta screw it all the way down. And then you're gonna repeat that on the other side. Then using two M4 by 12 millimeter screws, you can attach that to the base using the same method as the bottom mount. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw, slide that in through the top bearing and holding it with your screwdriver, throw two washers onto the end of that screw and then that will screw into the top of the swing arm. You don't have to screw this all the way down, just enough to make sure that everything can swing freely. Twist an M4 nut onto the end of the M4 threaded rod and then slide it into the hole on the base and then you're gonna have to turn it down until you get to a point where the swing arm can clear the top of the rod. This looks pretty good. So I'm gonna cap the other end off with a nut and I'm gonna tighten it by hand. And if you have a couple wrenches or whatever, you can tighten it, but it's not entirely necessary. Just make sure one last time that the swing arm is free. Then match the same thing on the other side. In this situation, there's something in the hole so I had to twist the M4 thread rod into the hole, but not a big problem. And then I used another M4 nut to tighten that off. And one last check to make sure the swing arm is free on both sides. Pop four M4 nuts into the pendulum piece. And then tie a big knot onto the end of the smaller piece of string and the other side will slide through the hole in the bottom of the pendulum. Make sure that the knot doesn't come through. Then slide the free end into the hole in the end of the swing arm and pull it out the bottom. Now grab your pendulum and hold it in this position. You need it to be about this far from the swing arm and then you can mark that spot with a marker and try to tie a knot directly onto that spot. Here I'm double knotting or triple knotting on the same knot to make sure that it doesn't come back through the swing arm. 
looks pretty good. So then I'm going to cut the extra string off of the string. And I'm just swinging around, making sure that it's not hitting too hard against the back of the base or anything like that. It should be swinging around the post in this way. Grab your spool and slide one end of the string through the hole in the top of the spool. Make sure it's going from right to left. Tie a big knot on the end of the string. It has to be big enough that it doesn't go through the hole. Cut off the excess and then make sure that the string is secure. Grab your fillable weight and fill it with some weight. Anything goes here, just stuff that's heavy enough to give it a little bit of mass. Could be extra hardware, ball bearings, extra bearings, and cap the end of it off. Tie the other end of the string through the hole in the top of the weight. Tie it nice and tight so that the weight is secure. And then wrap the extra string around the spool so it's out of the way. Now pop the spool onto the post on the big gear. Use a C-clamp to secure everything and we're ready to go to the wall. Line up your wall mounting guide in whatever position that you want and make sure that it's perfectly straight using a level. Then mark the holes with a pen or a marker. Using whichever wall mounting method that you want, screw the wall anchors into the wall. Here I just have pre-drilled holes and I'm screwing directly into the drywall and it's strong enough to hold the escapement up. Make sure that the wall anchors are super tight and then screw the wall posts directly onto the anchors. Slide your mechanism onto the wall posts and then use four C-clamps to hold it in place. Release the weight and the mechanism will start doing its thing. If you're finding that the string is catching the top screw as it unwinds, throwing off the entire mechanism, you can adjust this by simply raising the screw up with the screwdriver. If the swing arm's coming around so fast that the string double wraps around the top or the bottom screw, there may be a little bit too much weight in the mechanism. You can fix this by just removing some of the weight. Alternatively, if it doesn't have enough power to wrap around the top screw, there's not enough weight and you can just fix this by adding some more weight. And now we have everything working perfectly. Enjoy.